Hi, South Bay neighbors. This is your real estate market update for the month of December. Last month, we had 281 closed sales, 299 new listings, and 225 pending sales. All those numbers seem a little low because they are. It's November into December right now, so less listings come to market. Most folks, both buyers and sellers, equal on both sides, decide, you know what? Let's wait until the first of the year. So we have less listings come out, we also have less buyers. However, the month supply has stayed at 2.2 months. So that means we still have more buyers and sellers. Homes are still selling quickly. Our median days on market is 14 and our average is 30. So we see homes selling quickly. If we didn't have any more listings starting tomorrow, we would have only two months before we've eaten up all of the listings on the market. The average sales price right now in the South Bay is 1530000 where the average sales price last year this time was $1,341,000. That is a 14% increase year over year. And we've seen that three out of the past four months, that increase in sales price year over year, which is expected because last year we came down in price the second half of the year, and this year we continue to rise in price the second half of the year. Right now, we really expect that gap to start to widen early next year because interest rates just came down 21 days ago, they were around 8% and right now they're at six and a half percent. The Fed has now had three straight meetings where they have not increased interest rates and we expect them to lower interest rates next year. So sentiment has increased and interest rates have decreased. So what that means is all of those buyers that have been sitting on the fence that have thought that buying a home is too expensive for them at an 8% interest rate, will now start to re-enter the market. So that means there will be more competition on every home in our limited inventory environment. And we're right back to where we were in a rapid real estate market in 2020 and 2021. And we expect properties to rapidly rise in price from now until May, June, July of next year in a normal cycle, but starting very, very soon early next year with lower rates. The reason that this should be starting is because if you're a buyer who's been looking for a home but you've been on the fence or interest rates have made it tough to buy, now is the time. Now is the time to get over, get out there and buy that house at that decreased price because as interest rates continue to go down, competition will continue to go up and prices will start to skyrocket next year. So if you've been on the fence or you've been thinking about it, go ahead and secure that lower price now, knowing that interest rates are most likely dropping, that's what we expect. So then July or June, July, August, September, October of next year, you already have the property at a discount from what it, what it will cost and the competition will have it at that point in the year. And then you can refinance nice and easy to lower your payment to whatever the market rate is at that, that point. So theoretically speaking, buying at a six and a half today and saving yourself $50,000 in the price of the property and then refinancing to a five and a half or a five, however interest rates go in June, July, August, September of next year. So for you buyers, that's something to think about. Get into the market now because interest rates are dropping and it's about to get rapid. For you sellers, if you're selling one home and purchasing another home, the same goes for you. You really wanna purchase that second home before it gets really hard to do so because buying and selling at the same time is difficult. So if you need advice on how to do that, how to hold one while buying the second, how to get a bridge loan, how to sell your home first and then buy um, and do it without going homeless in between, talk to us, give us a call, email us garrison at sold by garrison and we're happy to help and plan that for you in 2024. So thank you so much. If I don't see you again by the end of the year, I appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you tuning in every month. Please like and subscribe on the channel and have a happy holiday. I'll see you next time.